Hello, my name is Donna Simpson and I'm the Curriculum Manager for Healthcare and Early Years at Abingdon and Whitney College. We are part of the Service Industries Faculty within the College and we have a range of courses in both healthcare and early years. We can be your stepping stone between school and your chosen career. Not only will we teach you the subject content for the course, we'll also teach you the attitudes and values that you need to be successful in your chosen career. Next, we have a short presentation that will give you more details about your courses and their content. Welcome to Healthcare and Early Years. As a department, we call ourselves SHED, which stands for School of Health and Education, and we have a range of courses between levels one and three. We have courses in both health and social care and early years. An important part of all our courses is an industry placement or work experience and it's really important because it gives you that hands-on experience of working in your chosen area. Um, we have a faculty commitment to be supportive and informative and professional. We will role model those appropriate professional behaviours for you to learn and so that you, when you go out into in industry, you can be successful. All our students follow what we call a study programme, and that includes your vocational area of study, so early years on, or health and social care, English and maths. English and maths will depend on what course you're on. Some students will do GCSEs, some will do functional skills, and some will do BKSB. Uh, all students take part in social action projects, and these are projects so that you can raise awareness or raise funds or do some good work in the local community. All our students um, have a weekly tutorial with their course leader. All our students will take part in enrichment activities. These are the add-on bits to your course so they can be things like food hygiene or um, first aid courses, they could be guest speakers, it could be a trip um, it could be a team building exercise and the last part of the course is made up of your work experience and different courses have different requirements about how many hours students have to do. All our students wear a uniform. Um, students that are in health and social care courses will wear the navy blue uniform. Students that are on the early years will wear the burgundy uniform. Uh, we have a range of courses and our level one course is a joint health and social care and early years course. Um, within that course you do two weeks of work experience and the course itself lasts for a year. All students within this course will undertake either functional skills or GCSE maths and English and that will depend on the grade you have in your GCSEs already. Um, you will cover all different aspects of healthcare and uh, childcare, including areas such as communication, development through play and human lifespan development. The entry requirements of this course is that we would expect students to have GCSEs and a minimum grade of grade two. And an example of an enrichment activity on this course is your dementia friends training. There have been some changes to our Level 2 programme this year and it's now a transition programme to better prepare students ready for the Level 3 um, T-Levels programme. It still in contains the extended diploma in Health and Social Care and allows students to progress on either to the Health and Social Care or the Early Years courses. It still includes the industry placement and students completing this programme will usually undertake Maths, Science or e English GCSE alongside. There is a variety of units covering a range of topics in health and social care. The entry requirements are four GCSEs at grade three or above and still will include some activities such as food safety and first aid. In September 21 we will be starting our new qualifications which are T levels. These are a two year course um, equivalent to three A levels and they combine classroom learning with extended placements and are, have been designed by um, employers to make sure students are fully ready for the world of work or higher education. The T level in healthcare is a two year course but you must complete year one successfully to move on to year two. 
there is an increased focus on industry placement in a range of different health and social care settings. The course will be assessed through a mixture of exams, assignments and employer set projects. To um, gain a place on this course you must have five GCSEs at grade four or above and this must include two out of the three of English language, maths and science and throughout your programme you'll do a range of enrichment activities such as NCS, uh, food safety and first aid courses. The T level in early years is a two year course and you must complete the first year successfully to move on to the second year. There's a range of industry placements in uh, different early year settings. The course will be assessed through a mixture of exams, assignments and employer set projects. To gain a place on this course you must have five GCSEs at grade four or above and this must in include two out of the three of English language, maths and science. Um, within your course you'll do a range of enrichment activities such as an NCS trip, food safety and first aid courses. Um, as all our students have to do work experience, it's a compulsory element of the course, all our students have to have uh, a DBS clearance. DBS is a criminal records check and it's really important that students have those because otherwise they're unable to um, go to placement. So um, it's really important that students submit these as soon as possible to get this clearance. Uh, thank you very much for listening to this presentation and we look forward to welcoming you on your course in September.